in this video clip, I am going to explain in a simple way what is the main difference between bonding, grounding, and ground, and how those concepts are important when you design AC panels, DC panels, electronic panels in your boat. Bonding, grounding, and ground. Now I want to explain to you how important is the ground in your boat. 95% or more of the problems in a boat are electrical problems. All the problems, the majority of the problems in a boat finish in an electrical problem. And 95% of the electrical problems are related with a bad ground or a loose ground or corroded ground or a bad terminals or improperly wired the ground. In other words, the majority of the electrical problems in a boat are bad ground. The bad ground is critical. The bad ground can produce shorts, flame, fire. If you have a loose connection on a battery, for example, you have batteries connected in series, 24 volts batteries, and the cross cable, you remember the cross cable, of the series, the, the negative with the positive, that cross cable is loose, and this is uh, the battery bank for the bow thruster. In the moment that the captain activates the bow thruster, the batteries explode. Explode. Or uh, the start motor in a big engine, diesel engine. If the negative is loose on the battery, during the cranking, you can explode the battery. The negative is critical. Or the typical example, the customer complains, oh, when I start the generator directly on the control box, the generator start properly. When I try to start the engine from the flybridge or from the pilot hand, the engine no start. This is, this is no ground. The batteries on the flybridge are not connected with the batteries on the engine room. Those battery banks are not connected to the negatives. In other words, the negative is critical. The ground is critical. But uh, let me just I refresh a couple of concepts before I continue with the explanation related with the, with the ground. Bonding, grounding, and ground. What is the meaning of bonding? Bonding is the referral, the network, the connection of all the metallic parts or elements inside of the boat connected into the bonding bus bar. All the metals inside of, the, of your boat should be connected to the bonding bus bar, the bonding conductor. That, that element normally in a boat is a long piece of metal on the stringers. A long piece of metal, normally is a copper, and on that piece of metal, all the metallic elements shall be connected to the bonding conductor. Fuel tanks, if the fuel tanks are metallic, aluminum or stainless steel, blocks of the engines, block of the generators, through holes, metallic through holes, cabinets, all the metallic parts inside of the boat shall be connected to the bonding conductor. Oh, if the metallic element is located above the water line, it's not necessary to connect to the... Yes, all the metallic elements inside of the boat should be connected to the bonding conductor. For example, the chain of the anchor is over the water line, shall be connected to the bonding system. The anchor, the rail, the tower on, for the flybridge in aluminum shall be connected to the bond. All the metallic parts in the boat shall be connected to the bond. That's mandatory. Bonding is the internal connection of all the metallic elements to the bonding conductor. This is bonding. Grounding is when you connect that bonding conductor externally with the sink. 
the sink on the transom, the sink that you have on the screen right now. That connection in between the bonding and the external sink, this is grounding. And ground is the referral to the ground. It's the direct connection to the ground. That's clear. Bonding is the internal connection of all the metallic parts on the bonding conductor. And grounding is this connection, the connection in between the bonding conductor with the external sinks. All right. How many ground boost bar you have in your boat? A lot. In your boat, normally you have AC panel. This is the typical AC panel. Short power, inverter, generator, AC, panel, isolator transformer, galvanic isolator, bonding bus bar, and sinks. This is the, the typical AC panel. Ball meter, and meter, and frequency. AC panel. And this is the DC panel. The typical DC panel with the DC panel, negative bus bar, positive boost bar here, over there, and uh, this is the DC panel, positive boost bar, and this one is the negative boost bar, and this is the ignition boost bar. And this one is the electronic, the electronic board. This is the electronic element. This is the main screen, the main screen, the computer for the autopilot, the computer for the transducer, the backbone, the NEMA backbone, the electronics, they have one negative boost bar and other positive boost bar inside. All the negative boost bar, this one of the electronics, the negative boost bar, the ground boost bar, the ground boost bar on DC, the ground boost bar, this is the ground, the ground coming from the short power enter here, this is the ground boost bar, the ground boost bar in AC, with the negative boost bar in electronics, with the main negative boost bar of the DC, the main negative boost bar, all of them shall be connected with the bonding conductor. And the bonding conductor with the sink. Once again, the negative of electronics, the negative boost bar of the DC panel, the ground boost bar on the AC panel, all of them shall be connected at the end with the bonding conductor and the bonding conductor finish into the sink. This is mandatory. Ah, in, a, in DC, I have more than one negative boost bar. I have one here, I have other one here, I have other one over there. All of them shall be connected together with the main negative boost bar and the main negative boost bar connected with the bonding conductor. Oh, I have six group of batteries in my boat. No problem. The only that you need is verify that all of those groups, the negatives are connected together with the negative boost bar, the main negative boost bar, and the main negative boost bar with the bonding conductor. This is the most important part if you want to have the boat properly protected. The bonding bus bar, if you remember in ABYC, how much is the current normally on the bonding bus bar? It's supposed that it's zero, or a little small DC currents. The bonding bus bar is a bus bar used to drain a small DC currents. Where are coming those small DC currents? Those small DC currents normally are static electricity from appliance, from equipment. Static electricity. The static electricity is DC. Let me explain. Where is coming the static electricity? Suppose that you have an appliance, the dishwashers. The dishwashers internally have an AC motor, single phase or double phase, normally. Okay, internally, <clears throat> the appliance have an AC motor. When the AC motor is, is running, is spinning, 
is producing power, depending on the insulation of the motor, there are some electrons that jump it into the case into the case of the dishwasher or appliance. For that reason, all the appliance they have one green cable connected from the case into the bonding. What is the function of that green cable, green color, connected here? Oh, the function of that cable is drain the static electricity accumulated on the case of the dishwashers. Remember, when the motor is spinning, some electrons jump it into the case of the dishwashers, metallic, and the case is saturated with electrons. Suppose that you don't have that green cable, that drain cable. What happens when you touch the case of the dishwasher? Oh, you feel static electricity. In that moment, the static electricity is drained into the ground through your body. Your body is the green cable to drain the current. For that reason, to avoid that chart, you need to connect the body, the case of all the equipments to the bonding system in order to drain static electricity. Ah, okay, let me refresh. The AC motor during the operation send electrons into the case of the equipment and the case of the equipment stores that electricity. Ah, when you store electricity in a case, this is DC. Oh, right now, that DC current, static electricity, is accumulated on the case and is drained through the bonding, bonding or grounding cable, green color. That's clear. What is the function of the ground or grounding cable used in the majority of the equipments or appliance in your home? Is to drain a small DC current. Ah, what happens if for some reasons internally in, in the appliance there are a chart, chart to ground? What is the meaning of that? In, in one moment, suddenly the hot touch the case. 120 volts touch the case. What happened with that excess of current? It's drained here. Ah, for that reason, the diameter of this gauge, the gauge of this wire, is enough to support, in emergency, big currents. Or during the lighting, during the storms, high voltage, medium of volts, can be drained through this cable, goes into the sink, and is dissipated in the water. Once again, in normal conditions, through the bonding conductor, you have you have a small DC current draining. In emergency, the bonding conductor is designed to drain big amounts of AC or DC current. That's the function of the grounding system. And this is the secret to keep everything connected to the bonding conductor and finally into the sink. In a specific, in electronics, in electronics, the negative boost bar, this one, is critical. In electronics, the negative boost bar is very important. If the negative boost bar is loose, if the terminals of the cables are improperly connected, if the cables are corroded, you introduce into the electronic equipments noise and interference. If additionally, the negative boost bar, the negative boost bar of my electronic equipment is located, is close to the alternator or star motor or inverter or, alter or generator, those equipments produce too much electromagnetic interference. That electromagnetic interference affects that negative boost bar and affect the operation of radar, GPS, transducer, all the electronic equipment. For that reason, you need, when you install that negative boost bar in electronics, it's mandatory that you use, you remember what is the tool recommended to identify the electromagnetic interference around this area? Yes, the ghost meter. Use the ghost meter that you have on the screen right now in order to identify how much is the electromagnetic interference here in this moment around the negative boost bar. 
the negative boost bar is a critical is a critical element in the installation of electronics. We need to verify that this negative boost bar is properly installed, is properly insulated, is properly bolted, and the terminals of the air are properly crimped according with the procedure that I explained in previous episodes. Once again, the negative doesn't matter if it's for electronics or for AC or for DC, all the negative boost bar should be properly installed, properly connected. The cable should be professionally crimped with a, with a, a, a heat string, properly isolated. This is the function of uh, the negative boost bars in DC panels and ground boost bar in AC panels. Remember, all of them converge into the bonding conductor and the bonding conductor finish into the sink. 